In this House of Logic video, we're going to add the black box exporter into Prometheus. Um, so to start off with, what we have here, if you followed some of the previous videos, is we have um, an existing um, Grafana and Prometheus setup. So we've got a simple dashboard and um, we've got Prometheus, <coughs> excuse me, being used as a data source. And it's just got the single endpoint on here at the moment. So what you want to do if you want to use the black box exporter to um, to test uh, various applications on your network is um, first thing is if, well we're going to be running in Docker as we are with the rest of the um, containers here. So um, let's do sudo docker ps just to demonstrate. So we have Grafana and Prometheus. Let's stretch that out a little bit so it doesn't wrap as much. There we go. Um, and uh, we're going to add the black box exporter in here. So um, we are currently, I think, in our home directory. So we're going to do uh, make directory um, uh, black box. There we go. And within there, what we're going to do is we're going to use nano to create a config file. And we're going to put in the necessary module uh, YAML code to define what we're going to do. So we're going to go with, I've, I've not used the standard ones, I've um, I've just sort of done some very stripped down, uh, or certainly labeled as stripped down um, uh, modules here. So we've got a, the one we're calling HTTP simple um, and TCP simple, and they're both just basically going to look for if there is a connection at all. So if there's no connection, it will say prob, probe failed. Um, so we'll now save that and exit and then what we want to do is we want to go and launch the or, or rather run within docker the um, the actual uh, black box uh, container so that's also and I'll, I'll include all of these in um, in the repo and link to it so we're just going to reference the uh, the black box or yaml file we've just created there and oops I forgot to do with sudo at the beginning and that should start us up. Okay, so that is now running. So what we can then do is we should be able to access the um, the actual um, probe uh, within the black box exporter. So we are on HTTP colon, whoops, uh, 192.168.5.26. And that is the probe, and that's testing against um, the uh, Portainer instance within my home environment. And we can change that instead, and we can make that, um, oops, doing the wrong bit, TCP uh, simple, and do the same there. Okay, so we've got probe success on that. Um, so at the moment, that's working, but obviously only if you make the call directly to the probe exporter. So what you need to do is you need to update Prometheus in order to tell it what to do. Um, so you can do this within um, your existing Prometheus setup. So we're going to go dot, dot, and into, oops, and nano Prometheus dot. ML. Oops, that has not quite worked because of the hash at the beginning of the line. Fat finger syndrome kicking in this morning. Um, and in there, obviously, you can see we've got the script configs and we've just got the single instance of um, the local host. So what you need to do within scrape configs, and if you've already got, um, ex you can you can basically add this after any existing jobs, and um, you should be good to go is you want to put in your additional uh, black box exporter scrapes so what you've got is the target for what you want to be scraping and then what you're going to be actually replacing it with now it's it's got the wrong ip address because i've done this in uh, a couple of different instances of this in my home lab so the replacement here target is the ip address of the black box exporter and port um, number for it so we'll do that for both of those and then that should be it. So you can specify any any targets under here. Um, so just as we've done with the browser there for the, the get request, and then that should do the job. So we will exit from that, and then we want to do sudo 
docker restart and we know already know the name of the container Prometheus and just for completeness um, if we do sudo docker ps uh, we should yeah we'll see the black box exporter is in there and <coughs> excuse me and let's just refresh that and one moment I'm just going to check on this okay so I think I see what I've done excuse me uh, I think I've messed up the config file slightly here so it's um, it's failed to start up um, so yeah, running sudo docker ps a shows you the um, the org containers, including those ones that failed to start. So if we now go back into, uh, yeah, I think nano on its own will be all right. Nano Prometheus dot yaml. I expect I've probably got the yeah the indentation. I had a suspicion as such. Yaml is very very intolerant of <laughs> indentation problems. So I just spotted it on the code editor that I hadn't copied in the uh, the couple of space characters. So let's just check it down. I think that's correct. Uh, things like online um, YAML uh, formatting checkers are very useful for this kind of thing as well. Okay, so let's try again. sudo docker oh, restart. Okay, and we can then go and do sudo Oops. Docker uh, PS. Um, and we'll see if we can do that without the dash A. And we have three containers running rather than two. Okay, that's great. So now if I go back to here and refresh, we get a response, which is what we're expecting. And we can actually see immediately that we have more targets listed than simply Prometheus on its own. Um, so that's saying it's never scraped it. I think it's on a 60 second. Um, default um, for the actual scrapes so let's hit reload and see if they all go green not quite but we'll wait another couple of seconds and then try again okay so we've now got all of the exporters um, reporting as in upstate which means that we're actually able to get some data from them and if we go over now to Grafana what we can do is we can pull in this some of the metrics out of those so we will go and add a visualization we've already got Prometheus selected as it's the only data source that we have and um, the metrics should all appear in here so I think probe duration seconds is quite a good one there we go we've got pure probe duration seconds and then we're gonna go and change the legend because this never comes up with things that look nice um, let's let's just hit refresh on that. There we go. So we're see, already seeing something on there, and if we go and change that label down there, it will hopefully make a little bit more sense. Yeah, there we go. And we can then hit save dashboard or back to dashboard, and then hit save dashboard and we will drill in on the time to make it look a little bit less ridiculous there let's have last five minutes there we go so we can actually see how long it's taking for those endpoints to be probed as well as the existing um, memory stats from uh, prometheus itself um that's about it um for this video i hope that that has been useful for someone uh, thanks very much for watching and um yeah please like and subscribe if that's your kind of thing otherwise we'll catch you next time thanks very much bye now